so what is kpi guys kpi it basically stands for key performance indicator k for key performance for p and you know uh, indicator for i uh, the basic example of kpi is our school card uh, we have written exams 10th exams 12th exams correct we have received our performance memo correct how much did we score in hindi how much did we score in english how much did we score in maths so the percentage of the marks scored in 10th standard is basically one of the major of kpi of your success similar to that we also follow a report card or a metric to measure the success of a retail store correct now uh, the metric or the kpi when we set for a business it should be measurable what do i mean by that it should not be hypothetical in nature if i can measure the performance i can do slice and dice at the store level i can do slice and dice at the region level i can do slice and dice at the overall level so that helps me to give the right and appropriate insights to the business to take appropriate action correct so the five reasons why we should have kpi first if you don't have kpi you won't able to monitor the performance of the company if assume if you don't have the exam how will you measure the success whether you studied well or not correct so something similar to that is basically monitoring the kpis to measure the health of the business how good my business is doing or not second analyze the pattern over time when you look at your school scorecard somewhere you scored very good somewhere you don't score well where you score less assume somebody scored very less in maths then that means in the maths subject that particular person is little weak so something similar this kpis will tell you which of the good area or strong area of my business and which of the areas are not good for me which i shall focus on so that we keep on improving correct third solve the problems to tackle opportunities now in the report card you know your maths is weak now in maths you know you are very good at numbers you are very good at uh you know uh, algebra but you are not good at trigonometry correct so trigonometry is becoming your issue so what you do you prepare more you add some tuitions you go for some videos to learn more correct so something similar to that in the business we uh, also try to tackle the opportunities and identify the problems guys okay, somebody has messaged me that they are not able to hear am i audible audible sir audible ट्री so that i achieve the success in it so what are the majors i need to do to do that and after doing that videos after going through videos for the maths trigonometry you rewrite the exam and see whether you perform well or not so that is a major of success and that is what we do what are the actions we have taken it is very important to measure the progress kpis are important to monitor how good the business is doing that is first second we try to analyze the pattern over time that means we try to see under kpis which is working which is not working uh, for me correct uh, so first monitor the he company health then analyze where you are not doing good third if you identify where you are not doing good uh, you know you try to see the opportunities you try to do some measures then you try to uh, apply those measures on those kpis and again assess whether those majors are working good or bad for me now under sales kpi guys first kpi i want to talk about is sales per square feet correct cost is most important element for a business correct now i cannot own this space every now and then correct if i start owning the space i will be in, you know incurring humongous amount of cost correct so what we do we take space on the lease or we take space on the rent correct so 
if i have taken the space on the rent and i am paying that rent on monthly basis irrespective of whether i make sales or not so this will become my fixed cost correct so rent will be my fixed cost employee cost is my fixed cost so i should generate the sales more than my fixed cost so that i make money now with the sales per square feet how much is the area i have taken for my store or my stores and whether am i generating more money using that space if i have humongous space and i'm generating less sales can i get it off can i get rid of can i create more partitions and try to give it to someone else so these kinds of insights will be given to the business through this kpi so this is one of the most important kpi for business to understand shall i open or close my stores now how it is measured so the formula is total revenue i got upon the selling area of the store so how much space i have for the area and how much money did i made from the store so you could do the slice and dice at three levels first overall business perspective how much area i have across all the stores i take that and i sum all the stores revenue and divide that will give me the square foot area correct uh, let me show you an example uh, i'll just make it pretty easy there is a store b there is store c and there is store d assume one retailer has four stores so this is stores uh, the space in square feet assume this has uh, 1000 square feet area this has 1200 square feet area this has 1400 square feet area and this has 1600 square feet area and what is my sales or what is my revenue sales is also called as revenue or income for the business correct as in this store has generated close to 2 lakh rupees or 20 lakh rupees just take a simple example correct uh this store given me 18 lakh rupees okay this store has given me 22 lakh rupees and this store has given me 28 lakhs of rupees fair enough so now at overall level if i have to give insights i'll simply do total sum of the square of it total sales correct right? so our formula is revenue upon space correct so what is my revenue my revenue is 88000 what is my space my space is basically 5200 close to 1692 rupees i am making per square feet correct now when you take big stores you basically offer that space at the square feet level that your rent will be 20 rupees per square feet or 50 rupees per square or 70 rupees per square feet in the prime area and sometime it goes 100 rupees square feet as well so am i making more money out of this or not that is a simple idea correct now if you understood the concept at the overall level this is sum of overall can i do this at the individual store level also answer is yes if i do this by this correct i will try to identify which of the store is doing really good for me correct and i know the average so what do you give the insights to the business that your store a is one of the best performing stores across all the stores correct because the square feet uh, you know sales per square feet is very very good for that particular store which of the store is not performing for you is basically store b so if you want to highlight and create the rule you would say on an average all my stores combined together make 1692 so out of which the top performing store is my store a and the second top performing store is store d but store b and store c are not that great so can i do further deep dive and understand why my store is not performing well what my store a is doing so good that i can learn from the store a and i can improve the performance of store b and store c so now if there is no question this is my case for you can you tell me let's take a like you know one simple example there is a apparel store which create which generates 1 million worth of merchandise out of 1800 square feet shop and the second store is 1.5 million 
on the 3000 square feet shop so can you tell me which store is performing better you know if i apply the same match if i divide store a by 1800 square feet i will be closely making 5555 dollars sorry 555 dollars per square feet whereas store b i will be making only 500 per square feet and in comparison to both the stores the conclusion will be my store a is performing better than store b correct